Good evening. We have today with us uh, Mr. Hoshang Rastur, good friend, uh, guide, a mentor, and an uh, expert engineer, a faculty who's been into specialized training. He's come to Goa to IMS and he's given us a fine lecture today for three days on pneumatics and hydraulics. Welcome, Hoshang. Thank you, sir. What is the, your progress from your time of your training? To the C career which you completed. Can you tell us something about it? Yeah, Mr. Shah. Uh, as you know, I completed my training many, many years ago uh, in Mass One Docs. Uh, it was a four year training program there. And uh, subsequently to passing out from there, I joined uh, Jayashree Shipping, where I sailed uh, as a fifth engineer, followed by a tenure as a third engineer. So I stayed for about six years with them and uh, subsequently I shifted to Barbers, which is now Williamson and I sailed with uh, Barber Ship Management for around 10 to 11 years, mostly on tankers. Uh, I also had an opportunity to complete my steam time and uh, also do a class one uh, in steam. So, uh, I completed both class 1 motor and steam as well and uh, in 1990, towards the end of 1998-99, I got an opportunity to step ashore uh, and work at the trading center which was just being set up in the very initial stages. So I took that opportunity uh, to settle ashore and uh, joined IMTC in uh, late 1998 and uh, it has been 22 years now since uh, I did that. How were the challenges when you set it up till today? How do you found the challenges of today? Oh, yeah, that's quite a question. When we started, we had just one classroom and one very, very small lab. Uh, we would actually alternate that lab from an electrical lab to a hydraulic one. We had movable boards which we would mount on the wall as per the course being conducted. We didn't have much space. But then uh, uh, initially the training center was envisaged as an in-house training center for Bargains itself alone. But uh, we found that more and more external companies are showing interest in this training. Our training has been mostly value-added, not the STCW type. And with more interest being shown, we quickly expanded. We purchased a premise in uh, Hirandani Gardens in Hawaii and then we moved there. And uh, slowly we added ship handling simulators, engine room simulators. We developed the electrical lab, the automation lab. We also have the uh, maneuvering simulators of Natresco and Auto Chief over there. Uh, and uh, it was a challenging task, but uh, some clients were very demanding. But that helped us to keep us on our toes and we kept uh, remaining contemporary, introducing whatever is necessary in all these training programs. And uh, slowly, in fact, our percentage of external clientele equaled the internal clientele from, from the Lensen. And uh, yes, that's the story of IMTC. It must be very satisfying to be you know, building it up from scratch and coming to a place where it's going to be really competent with one of the international facilities which are available. Yes, 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 thank you. I would uh, definitely rate IMTC as one of the better training centers for value added training. Uh, we also have a workshop uh, premises where we do hands on physical training uh, with engine room equipment and uh, also hot work. So it has, it is definitely very, very satisfying to see uh, IMPC grow over the years and reach where it is uh, today. In fact, uh, IMS and uh, Williamson are having a long relationship and I think you were, from 20 years, you have been selecting cadets from IMS, TMEs. So what do you, uh, how do you get the feedback? What do you think about the IMS cadets who are there? True, yeah. So in, in, in the year 2000, actually, I think it was my first uh, introduction to IMS as a potential source of uh, junior engineers. 
I remember coming to IMS Goa way back in, in that year 2000 and uh, Mr. Mathur, the director at that time was uh, you know, kind enough, he showed me all the workshops that you had and also uh, the external workshops including the onboard training that you had on the self unloaders or the trans shippers over here and I have to say that at that time also uh, I was extremely impressed not just by the equipment but also by the sincerity and the dedication of the staff that I met both the staff in IMS at that time and more particularly the staff on board the transshippers. You were chief engineer on one of the transshippers at that time and the uh, interest to train those boys who were uh, coming on board the vessel because it's very easy to just allow boys to come and roam around in the engine room and, and learn nothing but uh, the staff on board really took them under their wing and uh, gave them the best possible exposure to maritime equipment and nothing can be a better training location than the engine room of a real vessel Subsequently, over the years, uh, I've seen IMS grow. Uh, you introduced the hostel facilities and then the hostel grew. Uh, more and more simulators were purchased. In fact, uh, over the years, I have seen more and more equipment in your uh, workshop. Uh, just today, in fact, I have seen the simulators or yesterday, I have seen the simulators on, on, on the first floor. Uh, for the, the cargo turbines and the boil auxiliary boiler and uh, so uh, definitely I think IMS is constantly looking for ways in which to in, they can improve the competence of their boys and make them more uh, acceptable to potential clients. I have to say over the years uh, both the GME stream and the DME stream have uh, proved to be very very good overall uh, I will say more than 97% of the boys have uh, gelled into the Wilhelmsen fleet uh, many of them are chief engineers now uh, one or two are superintendents and uh, uh, basically in my opinion uh, both the DMEs and the GMEs uh, are both doing very well. The GMEs uh, have the advantage of having a certified certification, a degree, which the diploma boys don't have, but they by far make up for that by their sheer uh, uh, sincerity and the two years that they spend uh, here in visa in the one year that the others do. So uh, both streams are, uh, in my opinion, very good. In fact, the, 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 the uh, percentage chance of a DME boy uh, leaving the company is, in my opinion, far less. Uh, their uh, background is such that they are loyal and they are extremely, uh, extremely glad to have the opportunity to change their lifestyle and uh, they work out very, very hard. It was very nice uh, to speak about IMS and the cadets. In fact, uh, you, you have recently visited our campus so that you have seen the uh, development which we keep on doing for here. And we surely uh, expect more visits from you to IMS to train our cadets to upgrade their knowledge and skills. And we are then intending to build up a different type of uh, infrastructure for them and to build up the training in such a way it's going to be easy for them when they get on board a ship. So I have to thank you for being here and if you want to say something else, please. Yeah. No, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, definitely this is a very good initiative. Uh, I found that the level of interest in your voice also through these three days that I was interacting with them pretty intensively uh, was very, very high. They were like sponges just soaking up whatever was being delivered to them. And uh, certainly I would hope that they will benefit from this, uh, this initiative that you have taken. It's a step in the right direction. Uh, the better they are, the, when they step on board, 
the less uh, additional training the ship staff are saddled with or burdened with. If they come pre-armed with uh, at least you know certain basic knowledge uh, to help them to comp uh, complete their duties, it will definitely lead to good reports from the vessel and uh, help their career progression you know, in a better way. So thank you very much for uh, having me and for conceptualizing this uh, training and uh, of course I do hope that we will see uh, it grow uh, to different audiences uh, as well. Thank you, Roshan. Thank you.